us gucci you too it's pat brady you dig marvelous blunts in the building you dig and glorious purpose hey that you know what i'm saying loki loki episode six season two man i got a lot of thoughts about this man i'm gonna be real with you i think loki was probably the strongest thing that marvel had disney plus has as far as it comes to shows and things like that but i'm gonna keep it real with you man the last episode of loki was great but it's just another marvel thing to me you dig what i'm saying like what does it mean you know what i'm saying like a lot of questions about the loki last episode but if you haven't already subscribed to marvelous blunts man i appreciate all the love that i've gotten to the youtube page man check out the new content smash subscribe like this video Let's get it going. Let's get it rocking and rolling. You dig? Uh, we, we going up on Marvelous Blunts, but I'm going to get right into Loki. I'm going to be keeping it a bean with you. It's not a lot of things that I disliked about the episode, but with Marvel, it's becoming this thing where they make things happen and it doesn't make any sense. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what does it actually mean? You dig what I'm saying? Um, we get to episode six. Loki has figured out his 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 time, um, his time slipping. He's figured it out. So now he actually knows how to go in. And out of time, keep relooping things, going in time, changing things. Like he's really became this super Marvel character. Like, I don't know. For some reason, they picked Loki to be the person they just him and uh Khaleesi on Secret Invasions, they just made them the strongest people in Marvel. I don't even know why. But Loki is going in time. He's trying to basically fix the situation that happened with Victor Timely when he, you know, he was gonna fix the uh the, the loom, the, the 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 little time loom to fix all the timelines. He going back in time, telling him to do this different, telling him to do this different, telling him to do this different. The whole episode, episode six, to the point where Loki goes back and learns the physics of how everything works himself. So it takes centuries, what they say, centuries for Loki to basically learn all this information. I thought that was dope. You feel what I'm saying? He going in time, like literally trying to save this situation and save the timeline, right? He does all that just to find out that basically no matter what he does, how it works out, the uh, temporal loom basically explodes and the timelines end up just going everywhere and just going all crazy all over the place. So he ends up finding that out because he keeps going back and back in time and things aren't working. And then he goes back to where he who remained, where he met who he remains and where Sylvie was at. And he's trying to stop her endless times from killing him. Like, please do not kill this man to the point that finally he who remains like, dang, he breaks like loki keeps doing a time loop and basically replaying when you know sylvie kills he who remains to the point he remains like you ain't figure it out yet and loki basically just came to the conclusion like hey man i may not win this situation but i can win and give everybody a chance if i change the equation you dig what i'm saying so loki has to go through a lot of trials to finally realize like i have to do something different and the thing that loki does he goes out he saves the timeline he turns into like origin Loki with the horns, all crazy. I'm like, okay, they going off. Okay, this episode they going off. We're like, but I don't get what's going on. But the the timelines end up going into this spaghetti thing, and he just ends up just grabbing all the timelines, grabbing all of the timelines. Now, like y'all don't have to realize, he grabbed all the timelines and literally put them together, and he's like holding them together, I guess. And he became the god of I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? I know he's the god of mischief. Now he's the god of, I guess they're saying online, they're saying stories. I don't know what that means, bro. And that's my dislike of this. Everything that Loki's been through in this episode, how they were doing in season one, I just feel like this season of Loki was to explain the multiverse or explain what's going on because we don't know what's going on. And I feel like they wasted the season finale because I'm like, Loki ended up getting trapped, spoiler alert, trapped. Um, on the chair where he who remains is for all time. He's holding timelines together. It's like strung up together. He's holding the timeline together, but now it's not a timeline, it's a tree. I'm like, explain. Like, well, how did this happen? What, what is happening? You feel me? Like, they 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 barely scratched the surface of like the other Kang that was in the 616. They had like a scene where Morbius was like, Yeah, you know, um, they handed the 616 Kang. I'm like, they're hunting kings now like the end 
Loki for me was just a bunch of just I don't know what's really happening. You know what I'm saying? Like what's happening? Like uh, 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 uh. man, I don't like to be sliced up like that. You feel me? That gets me gut. Like bro, tell us what's going on. I'm just feeling like man, why can't Marvel just hit a home run? Like y'all had a formula. What changed? What is different? Like this show, man, has so much potential. But the last episode was a letdown. Yes, it was cool. Everybody got to do their own thing. Moby has got to go back to his timeline. The TVA is now good. But what does this show mean, bro? What is Loki doing? They just wrote him off the show. Yeah, just make him the king of whatever this is, and let's just write him off the show. That's how I felt it was. Let's just write him off the show. He's gonna reboot. The, this I, he, well, what happened in my theory was true that he was going to control the multiverse and be the person running the TVA. I already said that, but now I guess he's changing or he's um changed the stories of the multiverse. So what does that mean? You feel what I'm saying? Like, what's going to happen now? Like, are stories from the multiverse going to change? Is the Avenger story going to change? Did he really die from Thanos? Marvel for the past maybe since the the pandemic has been too many questions and going to see loki and then seeing the atrocity what i thought was the marvels my opinion on it i'm gonna do end up doing a review we're gonna do an actual big review of just marvel in general next monday but the review for captain marvel is coming soon it just feels like we're watching a bunch of nothing you feel what i'm saying or it's like i have to go deeper into figuring out what's going on i felt like when i used to watch marvel I went deeper because it was so much interesting stuff happening on camera, on screen. I wanted to go research it. This makes me like, bruh, I don't care. You dig what I'm saying? So episode six, man, I would definitely give it like a 7.5 out of eight. I feel like it didn't explain anything. I feel like they just ended it and it's just like Loki stuck at the end of time controlling the multiverse. But that doesn't make sense. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I definitely... I'm going, you know, when we have the live stream next week, I'll definitely bring these things back up. I just don't understand what Loki's mission, what this this season's mission was. Or was he supposed to be the powerful, almighty Loki? Like, is he the strongest Avenger? Who? What? What? You feel me? But um, what did y'all think of Loki, man? Like I said, I skated a 7.5 out of 8. Some people love this episode. I saw people saying it was just top Marvel. I ain't, nah. Like, y'all not. Y'all not fooling me, Marvel. Like, y'all had a great first season, but the second season, I'm going to give it overall. I get the whole season. I get the whole season like a 7.5. Like I said, I feel like a bunch of up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh, and that shit gets me gut. You feel what I'm saying? But what did you think of Loki episode six? And what did you think of the whole season of Loki episode? I mean, season two. You know what I'm saying? What's y'all thoughts on this? I just think Marvel could have brought it way more they they try to get into like some deeper thoughts and time and how you can change time and free will and thought and then they just didn't go and follow through with it like i thought they was man i really thought they was going to go deeper into the stuff they are going deep about you feel what i'm saying but please subscribe to marvelous blunts i appreciate it man have a great day a great evening whatever you're doing man keep god first man and it's okay y'all not to like everything i'm just gonna let y'all know that it's okay not to like everything it's okay not to understand everything but we're just not gonna give everything a thumbs up marvel and i think with loki's how this went and how the marvels went i think marvel's about to learn an important lesson marvelous blunts man it's pat Br